Hi everyone, so um, like I said I'm trying to get more of these questions up in the next uh, few weeks and so I'm trying to do them sort of uh, daily really, just a, a step a day keeps the D grade at bay. Um, well, not like <laughs> maybe that's a silly way of looking at it, but uh, yeah, this is from an old one, 1987, so really years and years and years ago, but it's a good one to do, it's not mega long, um, probably takes five minutes really to go through this. Um, you need to have seen uh, the arithmetic and geometric series chapter which really only comes up in the second year now of all the textbooks for um, at normal A level uh, but provided you've seen that before particularly the sum of an infinite geometric series then you'll be fine with this yeah now um, please have a go at first um, you can find these questions on the step database um, I literally just scrolled down this morning I was a little bit you know bored and just found one which I thought looked pretty straightforward and it was this one and I like the logarithms ones because it tends to be the same things which come up um, for example look at this one what am I going to use to change log base 2 log base 4 log base 16 um, and log base 2 to the 2 to the n that's supposed to be like that that's not 2 to the 2 n it's 2 to the 2 to the n um, so what am I going to do to change all of those logs to the right kind of base well we, we need to change a base formula yeah change of base for logarithms now I've used this in several videos now and I think I've proved it in some of those videos as well um, it's not too difficult to prove I fully invite you to prove this result but log base a to the x is log base b to the x over log base b to the a yeah just remember the one which is bigger goes on top the one which is smaller goes on the bottom and then you can change the base yeah and this is almost like um uh, a law for dividing logarithms, yeah, if, if you like. It really is a law for dividing logarithms. So, um, okay, we've got this, and that's what I'm going to use to do this question. It's clear that I need to use it because there are loads of different bases. So that's when I use the change the base formula, so I can put them all to the same base. So what's that going to give me? If I call this, well, let's just say log base 2 of e minus, sorry, <laughs> log base 4 of e plus log base 16 of e, yeah, minus dot 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 going on forever. Yeah, um, in fact, I might just write the next term. Yeah, just so we get an idea of what the sequence really does. Now, n is zero actually gives you the first term because you've got two to the two to the zero, which is two to the one, which is two, um, and also minus one to the power of zero is one. Yeah, so you get a positive term there. And then when n is one, you're going to get a minus two to the two to the one, which is two to the two, which is log base four. Yeah. Now, for the, uh, when n is three, therefore, when we're here, we're going to have two to the eight there, and so this is going to be log of 2 to the 8 which is from memory uh, 256 yeah um, let me just check that in my head <laughs> what we got uh, 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 squared is 4 8 16 32 64 I'm using my fingers here <laughs> uh, 128 is 2 to the 7 and so 256 is 2 to the 8 that's cool okay minus log base 256 of e yeah and then let's just put dot 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 Okay, right. I'm going to change the basis of everything. So I'm going to leave this first one as log base 2 to the e, and then I'm going to write all of these as log base 2, because it looks pretty obvious I can, using this result. Okay, so this is the same as log base. Now I can put any base here. Look, b hasn't even been introduced on the left-hand side, so I can use log base 2 of uh, e on the top, and then log base 2 of 4 on the bottom. Yeah. Now it might be more helpful to write that 4 as a 2 squared, just so it's more obvious that the bottom is actually equal to just 2, because logs find powers. Then we're going to have log base 2 of e on the top, but then log base 2 of 16 on the bottom, or 2 to the power of 4, it'll be obvious that one's 4. <laughs> and then minus uh, log base 2 of e on the top again. Oh, I've written 8. <laughs> uh, and then on the bottom, log base 2 of 256. Well, we already said that was 2 to the power of 8, wasn't it? Okay, right. And then for, well, lovely, I've got a log base 2 of e in everything, so I'll factorise it out, park it, and leave it to, and deal with it later, basically. I knew I was going to have to change it into a lun at some point, but I thought, well, I'll just leave that there for the moment. And then look what I've got. I've got 1 minus, now remember, that equals just 2, and this equals just 4. Yeah, and this equals just 8. So we've got 1 minus a half plus a quarter 
minus an eighth and they do love putting in little sneaky GPs um, sums of infinite sequences particularly GPs which have a sum of an infinite sequence they love putting them in this paper okay so this is a GP a is 1 r is minus a half and so we need the sum to infinity formula of a over 1 minus r which is going to come to 1 minus minus a half which is 3 over 2 so that's 2 thirds yeah because that's going to be 1 plus a half which is 3 over 2 and the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 thirds so we get 2 thirds log base 2 of e yeah and I looked at that and I looked at their answer and I thought mine doesn't look like theirs yet but all you've got to do really is use the change of base formula for logarithms again now remember the way it works you can put any base here you like yeah but that one must go on top and that one must go on bottom so this is going to be log base e if you like of okay uh, oh hang on let's write it as two logs okay log base e of e on the top but then log base e of 2 on the bottom. Now both of those are LUNs aren't they? Log base E of E is just 1 so you end up with 2 over 3 LUN 2. I then thought that's a shame because I want the 1 over LUN 2 so I went well that's the same as 1 over well divide top by 2 divide the bottom by 2 3 over 2 LUN 2 but that's 1 over LUN of 2 to the 3 over 2 but that's the same as the square root of 2 cubed which is of course 2 root 2 yeah it's the same thing look at it here look at the powers add the powers one plus a half is one and a half uh and so as required yeah so just a very short video today and i fully invite you to try and prove the result for mixed base logarithms but it comes up a lot in these extension papers it really does even in really old ones <laughs> okay yeah and like i say if you haven't finished all of the maths course yet it's a good idea if you're thinking about doing step to try the old step ones yeah and if it looks just completely unrecognizable and it clearly needs something you haven't done that then leave it but there's a lot of old step one questions which you can do fairly early on okay hope you found that useful all the best and keep up the hard work Bye bye